Welcome back to Who Film Study. Today, we're diving deep into the journey of a rising star, DJ Wagner. This six foot three guard from Camden High School is not just any prospect. He's following the footsteps of his legendary father, Dewan Wagner Sr., who made his mark at the University of Memphis before entering the 2002 NBA draft. And now, DJ is set to write his own chapter at the University of Kentucky under the same coach his father played for in John Calipari. In this video, we'll explore DJ's incredible skills and what makes him a game changer for the Wildcats this fall. But before we can get into the details, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and share this video with your fellow Hoops enthusiasts. Without further ado, let's get started. This is actually one of my favorite clips from DJ. So the rebound comes off, DJ gets the ball and advances up to the front court. Now, he could have made, made a pass to the guy who was, who was right in front of him, but he wasn't paying attention to the last second. So DJ decides to, to attack the basket. Left to right dribble, or Dylan Harper actually, by the way, to a right to left Euro step for a left hand lay. Brilliant play, brilliant play. Brilliant way to recognize the defense wasn't set up a great way to attack the basket and not settle for a bad jump shot. These kids are the days and are advanced, and I keep hearing about kids that have NBA fathers. IQ off of the charts. Brilliant play. It's probably one of my least favorite clips from DJ. His defensive stance is, is not great. His arms aren't out. He's not in the he's not in the sitting chair position, and his feet he's backpedaling way too much. The defender's gonna set him up with an in and out crossover to get to the paint. DJ's feet's gonna get entangled because he's not, he's not sliding. He's jumping back, he's doing stutter steps. I, I think this is, this, is, this is probably one of the worst plays of, I think of, of the game for DJ. I like this clip. It shows DJ Wagner's versatility. It also gives you a, a glimpse of his basketball IQ as well too. Now, it's a set design play, but keep in mind, DJ Wagner is not the predominant ball handler on the team. He may be the predominant scorer, but someone else takes care of the playmaking ability. So set design play. DJ Wagner is going to get a he's going to get a pick right as around the free throw line. Point guard is going to wait for the play to develop. DJ is going to come around. He's going to set a screen, a down screen for his man so to free him up. Then he's going to get a quick screen from the big man into the paint. Now DJ could score right here or he's going to do what he's going to do and pass the ball to the big man for a rolling dunk and an easy two points. Great court vision by DJ. Great versatility as well too. So in this clip, Dwayne Wagner is gonna show you off his, his versatility again. He's gonna get a high pick and roll from the center. Now, I like that one thing that I do like, I appreciate Don Bosco has great defense. They did not make it easy for DJ Wagner to get into the paint. So what DJ Wagner does, he finds an open man for a jump shot. Unfortunately, the shooter didn't knock down the shot, but the big man was able to, to rebound it, but did not come down with it strong enough. In this clip, DJ is gonna show you why he's one of the best in his class. His versatility as a scorer is, is probably top tier. And I also like that he has a counter for any attack that he, he plans to make. Reversing his pivot and getting back into the paint and attacking the big man's body to draw a foul is a pro level move. I wish he would have finished it, but I'm still happy he got to the free throw. So areas of improvement, I would say for DJ would have to be becoming a better and elite passer. Standing at six foot three, I don't know if he's going to be a dynamic shooting guard at the next level, but I think he has the ability to be top tier point guard if he improves that area. Also defensive ability as well too. Uh, it, for me, it would just be his stance um, and improve a little bit more of his lateral quickness. He could be an elite defender in those areas. But all in all, DJ is, is an incredible player. So I'm not gonna nitpick at his game. I think he, he has the ability to get to the next level, just like his father, but it's gonna take some work. And I think this, this year at, at under Cal is going to help him drastically improve. You see, he did that for other future NBA players and DJ wouldn't be any exception. 
But that's the end of our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, guys.